It's day 30 of daily uploads and the only thing I want to say is big thank you. We've grown to over 5k subscribers and at the same time I can't believe how engaged you guys are. So yeah, I really appreciate it and that's what we're doing today. An extremely cool page turn effect that has been popping up on Instagram like crazy. I don't know who was the first to create it, but if I figure it out, I'm gonna leave the credits in the description. So if you know, you can let me know. So we are in After Effects and it's extremely easy to create. I'm gonna start by creating a new comp, I'm gonna hit OK, and now I'm gonna drag the paper asset onto the timeline. I found that piece of paper on the internet. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to the rectangle tool and make sure to mask out that layer and then we're gonna right click, pre-compose, call it paper, hit enter and then we're gonna add the effect called CC page turn. And that's where the magic happens. So if I start playing around with fault position, we're gonna notice that point popped up. So if I drag it over here, we're gonna notice that page turn effect. So I think we're gonna set it up somewhere here. It might be a perfect position. And then I wanna make it more realistic by adding a shadow over here. So for this, we're just gonna head over to the light direction and change it to maybe like 130. Yeah, perfect. So before and after. Then we're gonna bump up the fold radius to like 65. It's up to you, you can change the fold radius to zero, like that, or you can make it softer by increasing the value. But I think 65 is all right. So here you can notice that we can see through that back paper. So what we need to do is change the back opacity to 100. And now the thing that will make that back page shaky is adding expressions. So for this, I'm gonna head over to fold position. I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch. And here first, we're gonna add posterize time. And in brackets, I'm gonna type in 10. Then I'm gonna head over here, click enter. And then we're gonna type in wiggle 5, 200. And now let's click away. And now if I play it back, we're gonna have that cool effect. So basically posterize time is making it look kind of cartoonish. And then wiggle is literally wiggling the fold position over here. And that way we get that effect like the wind is blowing over here. It looks so good. Anyway, if you for example wanted to kind of achieve a different look, you could head over to default position and just change the value for X and Y and it's gonna give you different looks. So for example, if I set it here, that's how it's gonna look. If we go for, I don't know, maybe something like that, it would also have a different base value. I kind of like how the paper is folding over here but I feel like we could stay with what we've created before. So now I'm just gonna pre-compose that layer. Let's delete it, hit OK. I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D. And then here to the bottom layer, we're gonna add CC Radial Fast Blur. Then I'm also gonna add Tint Effect. And just so we can see it better, I'm gonna create a new solid. It doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna put it here. And just here in the tint, I'm gonna hit Swap Colors. And now we can start playing around with the center in our Radial Fast Blur and also with the amount. So for this, I'm just gonna change the X and probably just grab that point and put it somewhere here. Then I'm gonna change the amount to maybe something like that. And that way we got a cool shadow. I'll probably decrease the value a little bit. Yeah, it's literally perfect. It's so realistic right now. And by the way, if you wanted to have that glowy look, you could always just swap colors. It's also looking extremely cool, but I kind of like that shadowy look. And also remember, you can always go back to the layer and here just play around with the values. So for example, if we head over here, we can, I don't know, delete posterize time. And in wiggle, the first value would be responsible for how fast it kind of wiggles. So we could change it to eight. And then the second value is gonna be responsible for how far it wiggles. So if we set it to like 350, it's just gonna go further. Yeah, but it's not that realistic. I'd probably change it to two. Let's see now. Yeah, you basically get a lot of configurations with this and it's all up to you what you prefer. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Make sure to check out the editing shift and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.